I mean, I think game's genetics. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, you were talented. Yeah, talented. exactly, exactly. So it teaches me that aim can't be taught. It's genetics. Gaming is genetics. Stop grinding to go pro. If you aren't already pro, there is a reason. Ever since I started playing Fortnite in the lockdown of 2020, I've always wanted to be like the pros I watched. Making bank off of tournament wins and streaming, I wanted to be the next Bucky, Clicks, or even Booga. However, one thing always stood in my way, and that was, well, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I was some fucking ass, bro. I was some dog shit. Now, this wasn't entirely my fault, because you see, it was around this time I saved up for my first budget PC by creating content on Roblox, and... Looking back on it now, wh wow, I, I don't know how I made a dime off of content like this. Seriously, what the fuck is this shit? Now, even after getting a PC that could run Fortnite and religiously playing the game for the past two and a half years, I still haven't amounted to a fraction of the success I've seen others manage to obtain. But that all changes now. I'm tired of being dog shit. I'm tired of not placing in events. Like, how the fuck is it even possible to have 3,709 hours on a game and play 72 cash tournaments and still make zero dollars? Like, I'm no mathematician, but I think it would have been more profitable to work in a Nike sweatshop in China and make a dollar and 67 cents an hour rather than get 451st in the Teen Titans Cup. <laughs> wait, I actually did win the skin for that and that cost V-Bucks. So wait, actually, I made 0.4% of a fucking penny for every hour I've played the game. Yeah, something needs to change. And that, my friends, is where the new Fortnite tournaments come into play. In these cash tournaments Fortnite hosts weekly, you can make $100 for every win in the finals. Now, for most professional players, qualifying the finals is as easy as dropping a few 20 kill games and calling it a day. But for most non-pro players like me, it's a little harder than that. So, if I wanted to escape the open lobbies, I was gonna need a plan, and a damn good one. Yeah. I would be lying if I said warming up made me feel confident for the tournament. I mean, look at this shit. Any human in their right mind would have probably powered off their PC right there and looked for local jobs hiring. But that's when I remembered something. One may know how to conquer without being able to do it. Sun Tzu. That's it. I knew how to conquer. I knew how to become the player that laid waste the lobbies. All I had to do was do it. Now. After warming up, I was feeling confident, and I was ready to play the tournament that had just started. But there was one problem. Wait, I need gold. Like, now. Oh shit. Yep. I completely forgot the cash tournaments were ranked-only events, and it turns out I hadn't even played a single game of ranked that season, and Fortnite wanted me to get gold to participate. So, basically, I would have to go from bronze rank to gold in less than two hours to play the tournament. A seemingly impossible task to the average player. One mark of a great soldier is that he fights on his own terms. Or flights. Not at all. Sun Tzu. And fight I did, clutching up gold rank and starting the tournament around a half hour late. One thing was certain, I was playing to win today. And if I was going to qualify for the cashy finals, today was the day. Am I real? Kid's terrible, that's why he's not king yet. He hit me when there was no audio for that. He just hit me, bro. Yeah, this kid. It was the kid. It was him. Idiot. How did you win your last game and you're dead? You're fucking ass. Stole my wall. I'm actually not real. I'm not a real human being. I don't know what that was. Hey, pal. Where is he? I'm sick to my stomach. This kid dead on my right, like perfectly right next to me. I think I outdrop him. Gosh, bro. I don't call now because of that, I think. Yep. 
I ended the tournament on 47 points, which this week was exactly the amount of points needed to qualify for finals. However, I could still be pushed out of qualifying range, which was top 7,500. I had to check the leaderboards to confirm my qualification to finals. Now having clutched up the qual for $100 cash cup finals, most people would probably prepare by playing some zone wars, PGs, or even aim training. But me? Well, I had a different finals warm up in mind. <clears throat> yeah, I played Fortnite only up the entire time. All warfare is based on deception. Hence, when we are able to attack, we must seem unable. Sun Tzu. Finals. I was feeling energized and ready. This was my time to shine. It was my turn to win. The stars were aligning, and I was going to put all the knowledge I'd gained over the years to work for me. If I was going to make money on this game, it was now or... Never? Yeah, I, I wish I could tell you I won a single game, made 100 beans, and lived happily ever after, but I would be lying if I said I even made it to endgame. Oh, holy shit. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, you clearly failed because of your terrible warm-up. To which I would respond with, did you read the Sun Tzu quote? And did you seriously think a guy who did this was winning a Cash Cup Finals? No. I was just simply not ready. So, the course of action was obvious. I would train harder than I ever had before to prepare for the next week's Cash Cup. Aim training, scrims, simulated practices, VOD reviewing, you name it. I was going to do it from sun up till sundown every single day until the next Cash Cup. With this work regiment, there was no way I could fail to make $100 in the next finals. Right? <laughs> the mission objective for day one was to focus purely on getting better at end games. And to do this, I played in some scrims hosted by Lacey. These scrims would force me to play the end game, as fighting during the beginning of the game was not allowed, and also not beneficial for the Cash Cup finals. So, after some yummy grub and a quick warm up, I got straight into practice scrims. After scrims were over, I played some build fights and some fast 1v1s for the rest of the day, and got off the game around 2 a.m. because I needed to get some rest before. <laughs> Now, day two went a lot like day one, except I spent all of this day playing fast 1v1s, mechanical practice, and watching the duo cash cup, trying to absorb as much information as humanly possible from what I had watched. It was a pretty normal day, and I started to feel like I was really improving. What goes up must come down. Isaac Newton. Day three. I got on the game, and I saw the cash cup had been rescheduled for the next day. Yeah. Normally, it's scheduled a week after the last, and I had been banking on focusing on one skill a day for a week before the next cash cup, but it was obvious. If I wanted to be ready for the next day, I was going to have to accelerate the pace at which I was getting better, at a rate I had never seen before. So I spent the entire day nerding out like I was studying for a test, practicing my edits, aim training in both Fortnite and Kovex, VOD reviewing other pros, taking notes, running game simulations, playing duo script. By the end of the day, I felt like a different person. I was confident in my aim, my mechanics were looking insane and my in-game IQ was leagues above where it had been a few days prior. It was time. I was finally ready. Victorious warriors win first, then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first, then seek to win. Sun Tzu. <laughs> Game day was here, and it would be cap if I said I wasn't nervous. Thoughts were rushing through my mind. What if I didn't qualify for finals after all that practice I had just put in? What if I did worse? Was I even cut out to be a professional gamer? Maybe I should just get a job in a coal mine somewhere. <sighs> I had to snap out of this bad mental and remember that I was here for a reason and that no matter how I did at the end of the day, I could still be satisfied with the result because I know I gave it 100%. And besides, so many other players had won in finals and made money, why couldn't I? It was time to get out of my head and get my head in the game and win. I had just spent most of my week every day, day in, day out grinding, training, perfecting my craft, and trying to become the best, and in the tournament, I even felt great, but even with all that, I choked. Ending on the same amount of points as the week before, however, qualification for finals this week was a bit higher at 51 points. I couldn't play like all those pros I had spent hours watching, I couldn't amount to a fraction of their skill. Maybe, maybe competitive gaming just isn't for me. Maybe gaming is genetics. No. I refuse to quit. I refuse to give up. If there's one thing I've learned from Sun Tzu, it's that in the midst of chaos, there's also opportunity. And that this failure was just another opportunity to learn from it and become better for it. Now, I may not currently have the mind of a pro, or, or the skill of a pro, but does that mean I can never get there? Of course not. I promise you all, I will make earnings in this game. And that this, 
is just the beginning. 